you had a pretty intense past life memory from the draconian Lyran Wars, where reptilians came down and annihilated the Lyrans and were eating them. I think you you mentioned in one of your it was a podcast, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. What was your most peaceful memory back in Lyra? Your most peaceful, loving memory back in Lyra. Just to kind of balance I think that about memory. Them all the time. Yeah, honestly, I think about them all the time. And it was, it's weird because when I look back at those days, it's like when my, ch when my soul was a child. Mm. That's how I look at it now, like my younger days, like millions and millions of years ago. Um, it was very bright, so... Because remember, they just descend into physicality. So they were the first beings in the galaxy to descend into the 3D realm. So for them, it was like we are, we're souls deciding to have a physical experience. So that was like, I guess you could say that was the beginning of the 5D consciousness in a 3D body, which is what we're all looking to achieve. So it was the definition of that. And it was so peaceful, agricultural, everyone was love and peace. It was just like, there was no such thing as conflict ever. And if there was like a little conflict, it was solved really easily. And there was no ego, like royalty was not like how it is on here where it's like, yeah, we're royals, we're above you. It was like, we're royals, we're the, we're the representatives of the civilization and the protectors. So we take on that job, you guys, we we are you and you are us so all the people look to us as like their representatives it's like it's like if we were to travel somewhere else they would point to the royals and be like okay go to them because they are like they are us so they are that's the only way to explain it it's so hard to put it in like physical words but it's like they are us so you go to them and they're like the head of the dragon the best way to explain it so any royals you come across within the galaxy, Orion royals, reptilian royals, I guess they all have different energies to it. Like the reptilian ones will obviously be a little bit more aggressive, but royals are always seen as like the leaders of the civilization. So um, during that time, it was being 5D then, it was just like, there was nothing. It was just like, we were children. We're all just happy and playing and then imagine now the draconians coming and it was like the lightest of light, pure light meeting pure darkness. And I still look at that like, I can't wait to, in the future, they're going to make movies about this because it's like, of course, it's our galactic history. So they want to tell about it. But the way the Federation first told me, they showed it to me like a Disney movie. It was like, so they literally explained it to me like this. They were like, once upon a time, there was Lyra and they show like lion beings and like, and they look like Caucasian humanoids and um, and feathered beings look like avians, and they're all happy and light and So just imagine like it looks like they showed it to me like this, like a little girl just prancing through the, like the fields with a basket, and then she comes across this huge dark reptilian. And he's like, hi, little girl. <laughs> and and the, the narrators are like, and now she meets the darkness. The lightest meets the dark. And I'm like, this is a cool ass story. Like, it's so cool, but so heavy. Right. So they're going to have to teach it like that. Like, like a child, like a very nice, innocent child meeting uh, the most evil dark being ever and explaining how that was the start to what happened in the galaxy now the galaxy there's not as much war as there was then but there is still conflict like as you know with earth earth is like the middle of a galactic war right now like that's why so many beings are here incarnated in human bodies is to help in from the inside so they call us the ground team so people that are incarnated and decide okay we're going to be on the ground and then we're in contact with you guys so it's like they're working through us and with mm. us and the draconians that are here with their dark agenda are doing the same thing. It's like, it's really a huge chess game. So a lot of us already know what's going on and we're actively playing a part in it instead of just like, oh yeah, I'm a star seed or I'm going to work and all this stuff. Like we're actively deciding to do missions and things like that. I see a lot more people deciding to work with the Federation and even angels. Things like that.